our year. Ladies, gents and teddy bears, let's have a little look at what happens during a compressor stall and what causes it. Well, what are the causes? First of all, bird strikes, FOD, icing or failure of one of the compressor stages, right? For those that don't know, a happy jet engine requires a amount of air, fuel, let's combust it and then you get thrust. That's what normally happens. Now, the engine that I've got here is made up of a low compression stage and a high compression stage. What that means is the air is being compressed and squeezed, so it creates a lot of pressure, all right? And then it meets up with some fuel and then bang. So all these are spinning at different rates to give you that amount of pressure. So let's start off with the air going inside an engine. Now it starts off with a low compression stage. Here I've got my generic engine at three and then high pressure compression. Now this means that it's getting really squeezed. This is why a lot of jet engines or most jet engines get smaller and smaller. This is to really squeeze the air. For example, the EJ200 engine is squeezed 26 to one. So 26 to one means every pound of air is now 26 pound of air. On the F100 uh, engines of the Pratt & Whitney, it's 32 to All one. Right. So the air is compressed, met with amount of fuel, a happy recipe, it can bust, bang. If you upset that fuel or the airflow, then you're going to get a reaction. So if, for example, something disrupts one of these blades, it will have a knock-on effect to the next blade and so on and so on. But the thing is, your fuel is still producing that reliable mixture that it's waiting for to mix up with the fuel. So, for example, okay, so you get a bit of FOD going in here. One of these um, compression blades are getting annoyed. This will disrupt this blade, this this compression stage, and so on. The fuel's still going in. You're then creating a different amount of pressure. You've got all this fuel. Ignite. Bang. Now, the problem here is you're going to create a lot of flames, a bang, and a violent vibration. I really want you to admire the reactions of the pilot in this video because... When you get such a pull, the pilot has to then quickly react. What I'm talking about here is I want you to admire his application to the rudder. Because if you've got two engines, one is really more powerful than the other because of a surge or a compressor stall, then your aircraft is naturally going to pull to one side of your. So the pilot reacts by adjusting the rudder, quickly putting on the air brake, and it is absolutely incredible, ladies, gents, study bears. This is what is called a compressor stall or a, a surge. Now